Hi guys, welcome to Know Your Gear. Today we're going to talk about a setup and what that basically entails. So we're going to go over real quick. This is a customer's uh, Fender Telecaster and we'll start with what we do first when a customer has a setup done. The very first thing we do is we look at what they had notated on their sheet. In this case, the customer basically is asked for a setup, but he's asked to have a heavier gauge string put on his guitar. Um, and then, but there's no other special notes for us. So we'll go to the basic back sheet of this, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a caliper, and we're going to caliper his strings. So, okay. So basically what we're learning is these strings are 9 to 42. So his string gauge on his sheet, we come right here, is 9 to 42. So gauge of strings received on the guitar. So he wants something a little larger. So we're going to say the strings that we're going to give back to him are 10 to 46. Okay, the next thing we're going to do on the guitar is we're going to determine what kind of radius the fretboard is. And we're going to use a radius gauge, like so. And I already think it's a 9.5, so it is exactly a nine and a half. So, nine and a half. We'll mark down now that the fretboard is nine and a half. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mark down the height of the string in between the top of the fret and the bottom of the string at the third fret, being right there, and the 12th fret. And in this particular case, it is pretty high. It is 1.25 millimeters on the third fret, on the base side and 2.5 millimeters uh, on the treble side, okay? So now we have a base of how high the strings are. We're gonna do this across all the strings, right? Mark them all down so we know exactly where the action is, okay? Next, we're gonna find out if there's any high frets because when we lower this action, if any of the frets are high, the, uh, the guitar will uh, buzz. So we're gonna use what's called a fret rocker and we go through three sections. We're gonna go through the treble side, the bass side and the center. In this particular one, if you hear that sound, that's because the fret rocker is rocking on the second fret, which means the second fret is slightly high. So on our sheet, we will circle that yes, there are high frets and the second one is high. We'll then go across all of the frets. And I'm doing that real quickly. Oh, so number eight is also high. So again, circle that one. So now we have a picture, okay? on our guitar. Now we also want to check the radius of the fretboard or of the uh, bridge. We'll do that as well. In this case, it is really a mess. So it's not nine and a half or anything. So we're going to just put that it's 12 because it's kind of flat, but it's got a couple high saddles. Now what we're going to do quickly uh, is go through the guitar. So as we go through this checklist, almost like a, uh, a car, uh, you know, appointment checklist. We're going to go ahead and uh, mark off everything we're going to do. We're going to clean and oil the fretboard. We're going to go through the electronics and make sure they're clean using some contact cleaner. The contact cleaner we use is Deoxit. I like a lot because uh, you can set the intensity of the, uh, the spray and you want the intensity to be low because this stuff is not very good on PC boards and other things. So I want to get right on the actual metal component part. So then I'll clean all the electronics. Then I'm going to go through with a small wrench uh, and I'm going to tighten everything. Input jacks, uh, tuning keys, everything I can. Again, once it's done, we'll check off that the that we've gone ahead and tightened everything. Then we're going to set the action. Uh, well, we're going to go out of order. Then we're going to determine um, if there's any high frets, which we did, uh, or at least we will finish to do. We'll mark that off. And then, once we've done all that, we'll then go ahead, and in this particular case, we'll take the strings off. We'll take the strings off. All the frets that are high, we'll polish them down. We'll make sure this guitar has fret sprout, which is where the frets are sticking out of the sides. And we'll go ahead and file those down as well using some fret files. And then once we basically built it, what we think is a very good neck, we'll run it as straight as we can. We will then make sure that the nut on the guitar is polished and smooth, right about here. And then we will put in the new strings, especially since this has nines and we don't know if it's ever had tens. We'll make sure that the slots in the nut are correct for tens. We will then put on the new strings. Once the new strings are on, we'll put on that we put the new strings on. And then we will go ahead and set the pickup heights, right? I'm sorry, did this out of order. Then we will set the uh, bridge radius to make sure that's correct. Make sure the neck is correct. And then uh, straighten the neck or loosen the neck. Once we set a new action, we will then write down what the new action is. In this case, we're hoping to get to 0.75 and 0.125. Now, I'm not, I normally wouldn't write that down, but we're just running through the, the process. 
In this case here, we would obviously take care of all the frets, so we'd put that there's no high frets and issues for the future. We will then go ahead and set the pickup height to the new, to the new height of the strings. This, uh, we don't have to file or lower the bridge because it's not acoustic, so we check to do it. Uh, we don't have to cut a new bridge because it's not acoustic. We would then lube the nut. We would use lubricant. It's basically a silicon-based lubricant that we use. It's like Big Ben's nut sauce. Make jokes now. Anyways, uh, we would then chalk off that we did that. Uh, there's no bracing, but we would check the bracing if it's an acoustic. Uh, we would also mark that we have also leveled all the fret frets. We would put the date we completed it, and then we would put notes. So if there was anything that we saw that was out of sorts with your guitar, we would make notations about it, because this is like a patience uh, sheet. Uh, if we ha After we give you the sheet, you're warrantied for a year. We would want to make sure that uh, when your guitar comes back, if there was any issues, what did we do to it? It would let me know what notes I've made. That's basically what a setup is. It's, uh, it's cleaning oil the fretboard, we clean the electronics in the body, we tighten any keys or input jacks and screws, uh, we set the action to desired height, we tune the guitar and we set the intonation. Setting the intonation is basically adjusting the saddles and also the height because height affects intonation. In this particular guitar, we have, see the customer is missing some screws. Um, when we saw that, when it comes in, anything that the guitar is missing, like a switch tip, like this, or a knob, or anything like that. We ask the customer at that time, do you want us to correct that? And if they say yes, we do it. If they say no, we don't. Normally, we would do it unless they say no. Um, then uh, we would basically determine if there's high frets, which we would done that. Uh, we would set the neck so it's as straight as it can be. And then at the end, we would polish it all up and make it as look as nice as possible, and put it back in its case, and a customer would have a nice new guitar that plays better than new. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Know your gear.